I decided to have some luxury life for the good luck. This is art, literally on the red square. Now we're going to another bar. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in Moscow now. I came to Moscow for some vacation and in general I want to see some other cities in the western part of Russia. It is my first time actually trying to live here in Moscow. And in this video I will tell you about different places that I visited, different collaborations too. And let's explore Moscow together. guys now we are having the stream with Zangief on the red square literally on the red square what's up guys now I'm on the red square and I want to introduce my friend Zangief to you he also makes videos about Russia but he lives in Moscow so on his channel you can see videos from a perspective of a Moscow and actually today we are going to have a big stream on my channel I don't know how many people are going to be there but yeah, and uh, here. What is your bet? Huh? What I, is your bet? I think 5,000 people. At the same time, or overall? I think overall. I suppose. Okay, maybe seven. Maybe seven. Maybe seven. Okay, yeah. guys, uh, this video will be released after the stream, so I will show you how many people visited it. So now we are going to walk around the Moscow city center. We are going to go to some places and show you the capital of Russia. Let's go. I wanted to show you the red square, but now it is covered with the fence because today there is some festival, some military festival. You can see many tourists here. This is some uh, church. Now we are going to visit this big, strange sculpture. This is art. I actually heard about this statue on the news and there's a lot of controversy because people compare it to, you know, what? Honestly, I didn't even have such thoughts because when I saw this statue, like, I realized that this is some kind of art, but some people see something different. And behind me, there's the Christ the Savior Cathedral, and in the Soviet times, there was a big open pool. And to the left, you can see the combination of uh, different styles of architecture. Stalin skyscraper that used to be a hotel Ukraine. Contemporary architecture, the Moscow city skyscrapers, and this intricate red building is a tenement house of uh, Pirsova. I don't know who this is, but probably some rich merchants who, in the beginning of the 20th century, built this house. And amazing Moscow River. Carso. And now we are going to the subway. There's some group of tourists. <laughs> Bye! It is so unusual for me to write down on this thing. Yeah, for the good luck. Moscow Metro is just a museum. This is the famous tourist place, it's called the Old Arbat, Stary Arbat. It is a, a pedestrian street and here you can see many fancy cafes and uh, stores. Wow, look at this amazing looking terrace. It is some restaurant. Is it that famous Stinat Soya? Probably, as you may, as you may see. Here is the toy himself. So this place is called uh, Stina Tsoi, the Tsoi's wall. And you can see the graffiti showing uh, Viktor Tsoi, the leader of the famous band called Kino. This band was very famous in Russia in the 90s. So we wanted to have a lunch and we came to such a... Oh my gosh. We came to such a fancy Turkish restaurant. We're going to have some steak. 
Я еще даже это не пробовала, но мне очень нравится. Выглядит как десерт на деле внутри мяса. Yeah, so thanks Zengi for introducing me to this most popular touristy places of Moscow. I really enjoyed this walk. I needed this for some cultural enrichment. And yeah, guys, subscribe to Zengi's channel. I'm really glad that YouTube helps me to meet such people and I will tell you about them later as well. And now I am in my apartment in Moscow that I am renting and I want to show you a little. I want to show you this view. Just look at this. This is the famous Moscow business center, Moscow City. And this actually means that my apartment is kind of in the center of the city. Yes, since I came to Moscow for not really long time, I decided to have some luxury life. Like I couldn't find any other option, so I rented an Airbnb. And by Russian measures, this is a lot. Next time when I come to Moscow, uh, I think it will be in several months, I will not rent an apartment for such a big price. It is so convenient here because I have lots of cool stores, cafes, transportation is really comfortable here. And there is even a church in the yard of the house and a balcony. And when it was warm, I like to sit in the balcony, like to work on the laptop. The level of comfort that I surrounded myself with is just so high and I understand that it's just temporary but I enjoy it as much as possible and I'm just really glad that I'm in this situation when I can travel and earn money from making videos about my traveling and guys I really want to thank all of you once again for watching me for your supportive comments for supporting me on Patreon and PayPal as well like uh, this is the job of my dream and guys don't worry don't worry about me showing my locations because actually by the time this video will be posted i will already leave this apartment i am really careful about my location because there are some creepy people who can stalk me and actually some really creepy situation happened to me this week and i'm going to tell it to you in the end of this video Здравствуйте. А почему? And one thing that I have noticed is that in this district there are such big magpies. I've never seen such big ones. One more eco-friendly news. On Azon I bought this collapsible coffee cup. And you can bring it with yourself instead of buying the coffee cups all the time. And of course, I went to some bars and clubs and actually met another Russian YouTuber, Diary Step, and we went to different places. She showed me a lot of places of Moscow, and now I want to show you one of our night adventures. <laughs> So now we are going along the Pokrovka street. Today is officially my So today is officially my second day in Moscow and today I met with Daddy Step. Hey Dasha. guys. Hello. We uh, came to a bar. Now we are going to another bar. Uh, Dasha, can you tell yeah, about so it? There are, now in Moscow there are a lot of really cool bars. And we've been in one, it looks like it had a bachelor party or something like that because there are dicks on the table, <laughs> and, but it was atmospheric. And now we're on the way to another bar. It looks like really Soviet school. Everything that inside of this bar, people like organizers took it from Russian schools, so it's gonna be super atmospheric. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. Let's go. And while I was uh, 
riding here in uh, the Uber, I looked at the window and I was amazed how many young people are here, how lively it is. Oh my god, guys, look, it's really made with the school desks because exactly the same desks we had in my school where I studied. Even the menu here is made in style. It's like notebook from the schools and they also like the paintings like the kids painted out. Now in Moscow, in I think in the last few years, they opened so many cool places and really every time I'm seeing Instagram, I was like, I have to go there. Nasha, what is happening? <laughs> Poetry on the street at night. So wonderful. Next to the theater is like a really fun stage. <sighs> Oh my god, so now I just returned home after parsing and you're witnessing me after having, I think, three or four mugs of beer. But I think I look okay. If I looked bad, I wouldn't film this. It's almost 2 a.m. and I don't know, like when I was uh, going to that place by the taxi I felt really anxious because oh my god I'm going to go to a bar to the center of one of the largest cities of the world and you know guys for me Moscow has always been something unachievable when I see people here in Moscow I'm thinking who are they what is their job do they study in any university I usually think about other people even though I try to convince myself that I don't have to do this because there are millions of people and the person that I see now I'm never going to see this person so anyways Today's party, I actually got recognized. That very first bar that I visited, one girl, she noticed me. She was like, my husband and I watch your videos and we really like your videos. Can I take a picture with you? And I was like, of course. Oh my God, I felt a little bit shy and embarrassed. And I was like, oh, this is my second day in Moscow. and. I'm already recognized. Probably it was just an amazing coincidence that in that very bar, that very girl recognized me. And in the second bar, when I was waiting for my beer, one girl said compliments to my makeup. I think she meant this glitter. And then I didn't see her anymore. But I just was so pleased that somebody made a compliment to me. And now I'm home feeling safe and actually kind of believe like i'm alive this was my drunk moscow vlog stay tuned Moscow now because there are a lot of hiding spots like that and actually I found out this place around a year ago and it's super atmospheric. <laughs> I think that the best way is to ask locals and since Dari Step knows places, I ask her to show me something interesting. So Dari, can you tell us about this place? Sure. So this cafe, I really like the atmosphere of it. I've been here already a few times. Uh, this place is located in the garage, like a real garage. There is nothing 
fancy about this. It's like casual things and everybody can see it wherever they want. I really like the street art of design with. And the interesting thing because for locals now it's like some piece of freedom because uh, government was trying to uh, close this place. People from the apartments around were trying to close this place. The owners of it are going to the court all the time, but it's still open. And it's like, I don't know, for Moscovites especially, it's like a piece of freedom, a little bit at least. Thank you, Dasha, for showing me this Moscow nightlife. And after we filmed that video, Dari went to Europe. She went there to travel, she went to Portugal, but she was robbed in the Airbnb apartment and they stole everything. All the equipment, the camera, laptop. I cannot even imagine what she feels right now. And yeah, guys, I just not only now want to ask you to subscribe to her channel but also to support Dari's videos maybe just to watch more of them or to like them to comment just to boost the algorithm so that she now can recover all the losses just let's help her together and i hope that everything will be fine and yeah guys this is not the only creepy story for today because it's a spooky month right and something creepy actually happened to myself recently and i already told that story in my instagram profile yeah russia if you wanna read it in detail but just in a nutshell a subscriber was stalking me and came to russia to meet me and a person from my city khabarovsk helped that person to meet me I was supposed to meet a guy from Khabarovsk who came to Moscow. He had to give me something. But instead, that guy came who's from the United States. I don't know, like, he's one of my followers and he probably has some mental issues and I really wish him to go to therapy. The thing is that that Russian guy from Khabarovsk, he helped that man to set up some surprises for me back in Khabarovsk this spring so this whole situation has been going on for like several months and that man he like in love with me and this is so disgusting and when I met that person I basically ran away from that place that guy from Khabarovsk when I asked him like what the fuck like what just happened he started to accuse me like oh a poor guy flew through the whole world just to see you because you ignored his messages on Instagram and I just decided to selflessly help him to talk to you and it's just insane and he didn't even apologize he didn't really realize that it's not okay to decide for me who I want to meet if you are being stalked just take it seriously, really try to be really careful about your data in the internet. If you know that somebody is being stalked as well, you also have to help that person to mind them somehow, just to not ignore it. And especially you must not help some random creep to approach a person who is being stalked. Unfortunately, there are some percent of creepy people who, I don't know, like, guys, my pepper spray is always ready for you. Like, I I will not be so polite anymore. I'm going to defend myself as much as I can, really. It's not okay. If you think that you love somebody in the internet, no, it's not the real love. You just don't know anything about that person. And this person doesn't want to meet you. Like, really, just don't even try. I'm okay now. But at that very moment, I was so scared. And this got me thinking how horrible it is for us, especially for women, to be stuck. And when we're trying to speak up and say something in defense, we're being laughed at like, oh, no, you're making fuss out of it. And I hope that this story is a lesson for somebody. I'm really sorry to end my video with such a negative note. This kind of spoiled my experience experience in Moscow, but not really because I'm okay now. I really enjoyed my time in Moscow. I like this city. And once again, guys, I want to thank all, not all of you for your support and for watching me. I hope that you're safe and have an amazing day. Goodbye.